Okay, good evening. Uh, this is the instructional segment and solution for the lesson two circuit playground in the physical computing sequence. My personal monster, because we all need a personal monster. <clears throat> and the instructions say Eve is trying to make an app that simulates a virtual monster pet. The LED represents the monster's eye. And the buzzer will be the noises that it makes. The app lets you control the emotions of the monster in the following way. When you press the happy button, the pet should stare at you without blinking and make a mid-pitched squeal. When you press the nervous button, the pet should blink quickly and make short, a short, high-pitched squeal. When you press the sleepy button, the pet should close its eye and make a long, low growl, like it's snoring. The happy button has already been coded. We need to add the code for the other two buttons. And so the do this says add code to the nervous button so it blinks quickly and makes a short hyper squeal. Add code to the sleepy button so it closes its eye and makes a long low growl like it's snoring. So this is testing um, our ability to turn on and off LEDs and also to use the buzzer dot frequency, the buzzer dot frequency function. So let's get to it. But first, we always want to look at the rubric to make sure that we include everything under extensive evidence. So each button correctly matches the description of its emotion using both LED and buzzer blocks in each button. Okay, I think that's doable. So the first thing is add code to the nervous button. Blinks quickly and makes a short high-pitched squeal. So we have to blink the LED and make a high-pitched squeal. We can see that, let's go back to the blocks. You can see that uh, we're using the on event function here for the happy button. Uh, this is what we know as an event handler. So it allows us to execute the code in the green bracket when an event happens on the screen. And in this particular event, it's a click event and it's when the happy button is clicked. So, uh, you know, the, the on event function, it has a description. This is a, a, an ID for the, the screen element that we're concerned with. And then this is the event, and it's gonna be when we click it with our mouse. It's gonna execute what's in here. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and try it and see what happens. Okay. So you hopefully you can see that the LED is turned on and we get a buzzer dot frequency output. We get a, a 500 Hertz output for 500 milliseconds. So that's one half of a second. We get a tone at 500 Hertz. Which LED is it? Is it this one or is it this one? Okay, we got it. Uh, I just, I forgot to click reset. So uh, you can see now that that left LED is off. Uh, we'll run it. All right, so we're gonna, I don't know why it's going so slow to, to upload my code, but you can see that left LED turns on now. Okay. So let's add the code for the nervous button. We're gonna use another on event, uh, and that's under UI controls. So we're gonna put an event handler here, and we want to add code to the nervous button. The, uh, the nervous button is our screen element, so we need to indicate that under ID, nervous button. And our event is going to be a click. And we want to flash the LED. And we want to create a squeal. So I'm going to go over to my circuit toolbox. And we want the LED to blink. It says uh, it should flash. So we're going to use LED blink. And remember that this takes an argument called interval which is the time on and time off of the LED in milliseconds. So let's pull this down here and this will blink at 200 milliseconds and that's gonna be a quick blink, that's fine. 
And then we also want to activate our buzzer. So we're going to pull over the buzzer dot frequency block. And that is, so right now we have for a 10th of a second, uh, a buzz at 500 Hertz, but we want to amp that up. Let's put that at 800 to make it more of a, a higher pitch. And we're going to reset and run. It's so weird. That's going so slow. Uh, Usually that flashes is like, which indicates that our program is being downloaded onto the board. Uh, but anyway, nervous. There we go. You can see we're flashing, and we have a higher pitched beep than when we're happy. Yay! All right, let's move on then. So, but up, up, we're going to go back to UI controls. We need to add code for the sleepy button. And so we're going to pull another on event block down here. And that's going to be the ID of the screen element is going to be sleepy button. And when we click the sleepy button, what do we want to have happen? Uh, we want the, we want the, the LED to go off because the monster closes its eye and makes a long, slow growl like it's snoring. Okay, so LED off is what we'll use. And then those are that frequency. We want a lower frequency. Let's try two. I think uh, 200 will work. And a long slow growl. So let's do that for two seconds. That would be 2000 milliseconds. And let's upload our code or download, upload. Are we downloading or are we uploading? How low can we go with the frequency? That didn't sound much like a snore. Let's try 100 hertz. No, keep working. Reset, run it, sleepy. That's a little bit more of a snore. That's about the low end of our frequency. If you put a frequency in that's too low, you won't hear anything or you'll hear some clicking, uh, which indicates that, <coughs> excuse me, we are sending a signal to the speaker, but it the frequency is so low, the speaker can't really vibrate enough to produce a noise, a sound. Okay. So that should be it. Happy, nervous, sleepy. So let's go back to the rubric. Let's make sure that we've done everything. Each button correctly matches the description of the emotion using both LED and buzzer blocks in each button. LED buzzer, LED buzzer, LED buzzer. We're good. That's it. That's all for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.